Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On this channel I do reviews, unboxings, and first impressions of mainly knives, folding knives in particular. Sometimes you'll see some multi-tools or fixed blades as well. But today I have for you a budget Kershaw knife. This is going to be the Kershaw Parsec model number 2035. And it goes around $39.95 on Blade HQ right now, but you can find them all over the place like eBay. Amazon stuff like that. So let's get this knife opened up. And in the box you have all the information on the knife, important information talking about how to deploy the knife and all that stuff. There's the knife. Definitely, they, they describe it as more of a futuristic looking knife. Sorry about that. I am back. So, like I said previously, it is a futuristic, more looking knife, they like to call it. I'm not too sure how I feel about this cutout here. You do have to put some, some force on the flipper, but that just needs to get worked out. And this is a manual flipper, but is on bearing, so it is not spring assisted, but it is on bearing, so it does come out very smooth right there. But you do have to put some pressure on here. I'm going to get work this out some and see if that loosens it up a little bit. Here are some close-ups of the knife for you. And to go over some of the specs, it has an overall length of 7.1 inches. A blade length of 3 inches, a blade width of 0.875 inches, a blade thickness of 0.11 inches. The blade material is an 8CR 13mm V. This is going to be another China made knife. Kershaw does make USA made ones as well, too. You'll be paying a little bit more for those, but this is a China made model. The handle length is 4.1 inches. It is a stainless steel handle and it is a kind of brown finish. They list it as brown. It's you look closely on the phone it looks a little bit more silver green, but it is a brown stainless steel. The weight is 3.5 ounces. It is a right hand or left hand carry and is a tip up carry. And it is gonna be brain lock as you can see does go very smooth. Not very comfortable flipping it out, but like I said, may get some work going on. I don't feel as, this one won't be put to heavy use because it definitely feels like it will slip in your hand a little bit. Not the most comfortable feeling knife, but you can get your whole palm around it. I have like medium sized hands. So people with larger hands may have more of an issue with it being less comfortable. But I will put this to some use and might do a review video on it. We'll kind of see. First impressions are okay with this knife. I mean, it has kind of a cool look if you want like cool futuristic look. It does flip out very well, but it is definitely very stiff. So I'm going to put some work behind that. Try to carry this around and use this some and see how I like it. And I might do a future video review on it to see how it held up. Definitely if you like this video, feel free to hit the thumbs up. If you would like to see future videos, I do post a couple videos a week, so look out for those. Hit the subscription button below if you would like to follow along with my videos, as well as hit the notification bell. If you'd like to comment down below, feel free to do so with any questions or comments at all. Look forward to hearing from you. Otherwise, see you in your future video. Thank you.